What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. It just rolls off the tongue, you know? Cyberpunk 2077. Just rolls right off of it. I don't I don't know. I like it. I'm really enjoying this game so far. Still don't know what the frick the storyline's about, but that's besides the point. All I know is that we are in Corpo, depending on what lifeline you choose, by the way, and it's very similar within uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, whatever lifeline you choose, that's the one that you're going to be throughout the entire part of the game, uh, and we chose Corpo, as you guys know. So all I know is that I'm this Corpo rat, that hitman, cyber hitman, and Johnny Silverhand, aka Keone Reeves, um, we're in one body. And, you know, there are a lot of metaphors in here for the deterioration of society and how, you know, um, cyber cybernetic is the wrong word, but so how cyberware is taking over people's lives, surely, but slowly. And I just, I don't know, there, there's there's a lot. There's a lot of psychology and biology in here, don't get me wrong. Yeah, oh, but that's again. what I'm getting so far. There's no main linear plot line that I'm really seeing develop. Ooh, that's Barry, loud. We know you're in there. That is loud. That is loud. Oof. Okay. So we gotta meet with Takamura. And I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this because Takamura is one of our enemies in this game. Who tried to help us, which, I mean, we love a good revelation. Also, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, cyberpunk episodes. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the reviews that are going forward now, afterwards, because I'm going to be taking my time with a lot of the games and everything, but you guys will be getting uh, more timely reviews. Even though I am putting on timely reviews, it'll be more on PC games instead of just purely console games, since I have so many indie games. <laughs> I have so many indie games in my Steam list that I want to go through. Like, uh, what was it? There was one, Fly Me to the Moon? I'll, I'm sure I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. That looks so. They, just the size of this game, the size of everything. It looks so cool. Hold on a second. I gotta go into photo mode. I gotta. Oh, I look beat up. Okay. Oh, that looks so cool. That just looks so cool. I'm taking a screenshot of that. That looks epic. Bro, that just looks epic. Seriously. I absolutely love that. Man, makes me miss Times Square. <laughs> Thanks, me miss it. Just the, the mere grandiosity. It's not a word, but I'm making it a word. Uh, the mere grandiosity of this entire game. What? A fixer just sent you an offer to buy a vehicle. Whenever you receive an offer, a new maker will appear- a new, a new maker. A new marker will appear on your mini map to buy the vehicle. Go to the indicated location to confirm your purchase. So I get a sweet new ride. Hey, what's going on, dude? Sit. And your nails still look so amazing, by the way. Then, Thanks, the I appreciate it. I doubt it you would survive. Oh, we both sipped our coffee at the same time. Twinning. Okay, what do you want? Why'd you help me? Is this about the biochip? Oh, I'm gonna go straight to the meat. This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Well then what do you want though from me, dude? What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answer your own question, but look for her to answer your own question. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Uh, I think so. Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. 
An enigma, to be sure, but she showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts easily. Or have you forgotten? Mm. Uh, still got life to save somebody up here. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Uh, want me to accuse Yorinobu in front of Arasaka execs? What if I say no? Oh! <laughs> They're doing it much like The Witcher, There's which no is very smart. Me. You have the highlighted... I, I I know. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm talking with the hipsters over here, alright? Chill. Chill. Forget about it, alright? Just hold on a second. They're doing it much like The Witcher here. Which I was gonna say before you so rudely interrupted me, okay? Where the correct answer me? is at the top. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Um, <laughs> try my luck with Evelyn Parker. Relics engineer knows more than anybody else. <laughs> I like how they kind of abbreviated more than anybody yeah, else. No <laughs> Just say. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree. <laughs> oh, okay, so you have a corp- Okay, so I was wondering why you have these little corpo things over here. It's what your corpo answer would be. That's what your persona is. So I'm gonna have to do that. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. <laughs> Sometimes most good women are. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Helma, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Sounds good. Whoa, oh, hi, what's going on, Kyoni? Zapper doubles and Hi, filth. how you doing? Oh so my god, it's still so <laughs> it's still such a shock for me to see him. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. <laughs> you know, you've got Buddy's some now. nerve. First you're out to kill me. Now you want to be my pal, make like nothing happened. You know, you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What did you get? I believe it's you. <laughs> and I've processed some shit. Changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. 
Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. <laughs> you woke up it. in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. <laughs> you can help me. Please. Oh, God. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. <laughs> I almost stole my coffee. <laughs> so you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny. Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your <laughs> The dialogue is so good. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Ooh, it disappears just like that. Damn. Find Evelyn at Lizzie's bar. Okay. All right, cool. Two different minds right now. A, I'm really enjoying this game for what it is, what's going on, and I'm not seeing or having any technical difficulties, which I am very excited and happy about, considering the fact that it was rampant with them for so many people. It, it was so bad for so many people. Like, I'm so sorry you guys had to go through all those difficulties and all those technical glitches and all that kind of stuff. It was terrible for a lot of people. Um, so I'm enjoying it for what it is. I love the fact that it's an open world cyberpunk universe with all these different kinds of mi missions, kind of like The Witcher. But on the other hand, what's really making this game is Keone Reeves. Much like John Wick. But the thing is, is that, and I gotta put it on pause to just reiterate this because I'm not gonna concentrate unless I do. The thing is, is that this game can be good on its own merit. I feel like if it had a decent plot line, decent story flow, and everything like that, and I feel like we're getting closer to what that storyline is, it's John, it's, I was about to say it's John Wick, it's Johnny Silverhand. He is the plot line of the story. So basically, what uh, CD Projekt Red did was they created a game that was surrounded entirely around Keanu Reeves. Think about that. They created a game on hype, sold it on the fact that, hey, we're going to create this cyberpunk-esque universe, make it for like almost 10 years. They put a decade's work into this. was no joke. No joke at all whatsoever. It's phenomenal what they've created here. But there's not a linear plot line to constitute that it's good in that sense. You know, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well this, well that. No. You gotta understand the facts. The facts is, well, this is a very good game so far, and I'm really, really loving it. And they also said they made it shorter, which I feel like we're not going to be able to have like long, long playthrough on this unless we do side missions and all that kind of stuff. We have to observe the fact that this game was sold because of Keanu Reeves and because it was hyped up for so long where the game stands and how the patches were with all the updates and everything they even put in the very beginning before I started playing this that um that people may experience um seizures from some of the brain dances which they didn't have there before when I first downloaded the game upon launch so <laughs> there's there, there's a lot there's a lot that they did to fix it and I'm very happy about it and there's a lot that they did to improve upon it but we also have to look at the facts here. And the fact of the matter is, this game was sold based on the hype from Keone Reeves. And was sold based on the hype that it was created on uh, about ten, almost 10 years ago. We're closed right now. Uh, want to talk to Evelyn Parker. Need to talk to Evelyn Parker? Hmm. Not here right now. Been a while since she has been, actually. Know where she's to be found? I ain't her BFF. Better off asking Judy. How about Judy? She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Thank you, Machili. Whoa, whoa, stop. 
start again. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from whenever I, I talk about that, you know? Like, I really hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Because it's not like I hate the game, you know? I, I really don't hate the game at all, whatsoever, so hey, where far. Are you going? Stop telling every joy toy you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You're so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Uh, oh god, I'm so sorry. Hi, Judy. What do you, you do? Listen. Good for Evelyn, sweet cheeks, alright? Just to calm talk down. To it's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Wait. Wait, what? Um... Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, what do you know? Judy has a heart. I want to know more of her story. Judy's character, I like. She's really, really, really awesome. Um, yeah. Give you a call. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. I feel like she's the kind of character that doesn't really trust too many people. Hi, Chiefs, don't do car? that. You're an engram <laughs> in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Are you talking out loud? Because people can hear you, and I, I don't I don't know about you. But talking to people that aren't there, you might want to talk to somebody about that, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay, sounds good. I. All right. You know what? It's interesting the way that these different people have your number. They just, you know, shoot you a call at any time. You know, one of my Ghostbusters over here, H8. I don't know what it is lately. In a lot of my videos, my New York is coming out in full swing. And a lot of you have pointed it out to me. I get it. I sound like a New Yorker, okay? For all intents and purposes, I am, because I was partially raised in New York. So, that's that on that, but still. <laughs> Some of you will point it out and be like, oh, I love your New York accent. I like your New York accent. Thanks, Toots. I appreciate you. I get relaxed a lot of the time. What's this? Ooh. Blue beans. All right. But also, whenever I get relaxed, a lot of you guys know it slips a lot of the time. And a lot, I just talk like this, you know? I'm very refined. I'm very much the polite person. But once I get into New York mode, you know, people are just like, they don't assume I'm from New Jersey ever. Ever. In a million years. And it's the funniest thing ever because that's where I was born. Like, I, it's, it's so funny to me. Oh my gosh. I, I love the range of NPCs. That's one thing that I'm noticing that I absolutely am so in love with is the range of NPCs, the different skin tone colors, just everything uh, that's about the range of NPCs I really really like. I don't want to get hit by a car right now, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh my gosh, I love that ad. Wakako Okada, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts. For Sandra Dorset. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. Oh shit. I wasn't looking where I was going. I was paying attention to you. Sorry. Sorry, Okada san. Okay. So, sorry about that. I should probably be driving, but you know what? I'm not I'm not. And that's that's just what it is. Oh my god, was that a person taking a selfie in a- <gasps> That's a person taking a selfie in a video game! I love it so much. I love this. This is adorable. I saved the screenshot. I love it. I love it so much. Hi! 
What? You want a new friend? Yes. Just this game is so immoral. What is that? What is that? That looks so cool. Oh my gosh. That looks like a, um, a Dragon Ball Z character. You know, the purple guy? Alright, let's go. I'm ready. Oh, hey, what's going on, Silverhand? Getting off or getting off. Place your bets. You just literally what you said makes no sense whatsoever. No sense whatsoever. Coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Oh, uh, why don't you believe Judy? I think Judy's lying. Why? A little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. <laughs> uh, whoa, okay, you know what? Don't do the disappearing act on me again, okay? That's not called, that's not called for. Ugh, this game is so colorful and lively. Sit down and wait until the evening. Are you serious? Really? What is that? Why do you have me sitting on nuts and bolts, sir? Is that like a charging station for my ass? What is that? You're having me sit down on nuts and bolts. I'm sorry, but what it- why? Why? Sometime later. Uh, what happened? Welcome to cloud. Scan authorized? Know what? what you're looking for. Oh, I still can't get over that. I feel- This will be a live session. It looks so like it feels weird. Take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. <laughs> Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. That just looks weird. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait. Compatible to- oh, okay. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or- Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with- Unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. So wait, she also has a job working as a burlesque dancer, if you will. I'm saying burlesque dancer because YouTube doesn't like me saying the other stuff. Um, look for Evelyn Parker. Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress <laughs> and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Let's go with Sky. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Uh, check out the one for it. Okay, um. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect. Heard of what's please. gonna happen. 
That's about it. <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their Thank legs you. for you. We hope Sad. you enjoy your stay. Go eat a dick, John. <laughs> Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm scared. Um, I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm a scared cat right now. Guess what's gonna happen? Oh gosh. Hi. Hi. I'm Sky. And you must be. Hi, Sky. Well, oh boy. Looks like this will be Close your eyes, children. So, V, you're dying. Wait, how'd you know that? How'd you know how'd that? I you know I'm dying. Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Okay, I'm looking for someone. Is there's there's something in those mirrors? Wait, what? what? Wait, wait hold on a second. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Okay, Evelyn listen, Parker. lady, I'm not... Okay. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Good to know. Good to know. I am afraid that this is gonna go farther than need be for YouTube, okay, ma'am? So just calm down a second and, and think about what you're asking me here, okay? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Don't want to be the best. Be the best. This is interesting, actually. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know I was here, that I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else, different? Uh, okay, I, well, lie down, the void freaks me out, so I, well, wait, okay, hold and on. any for your thoughts? Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain, even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it, and it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since, or for what's to come. What I've been through. This is a really interesting something interaction. I did not expect this. Was something that happened to other people. Hell that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. Oh, is. look at the sparkle that they put into her eyes. I love that. You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have, you go through Night City knowing... This is really genuine. I like that. ...and you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you. 
Why is this actually very wholesome? I thought this was going to be something else entirely. I'm actually living for this interaction. How do I keep this is up so with cool. everything that's changing? You have been keeping This is up. really cool. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never that's very factual, actually. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Wow, okay. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez. It's actually a very I human interaction. Like That gave me like chills. Oh my gosh, that's wow. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Wait, what? Goddamn thing threw me out. What happened? I do something wrong. Evelyn Parker. Oh, so what do you know about? It was a simulation for her. Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you, Barjan, violate it, try to rearrange. No. This info. Name your price. Fuck you, your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Yikes, V. Oh my gosh. So they were using her as a simulation for clientele. That's disturbing, but also the interaction that you have with the doll is one of the most genuine in this game so I'm far. Here, motherfucking You're not authorized. Very, very interesting. Fuck. I almost pissed myself. Hi for a bloodbath! What? Okay. What do you want? Hi, what's up? Relax, you're not in trouble. Just want to talk for a little. Where's Evelyn? Need to talk to her urgently. It's important. Well, are you mad at her or something? No. Know where she is or not. I see if a chair uh, on the bed. She's not here. <laughs> Try calling oh, her more than to, once. Coward. No answer. Heard she was chipping a new faceplate in a clinic in Osaka. No, no. Oslo. That was it. Osaka or Oslo? Which is it? You come out uh, alone. Oslo. We want her. Yeah, yeah, definitely Oslo. I promise. This, this over here is also psychological as well because Johnny Silverhand is kind of like the conscience in the mind, or the kind of like not the conscience, but like the devil on the shoulder slash the id. He's like, I want to do it. I want to do it now. Let's go. Let's get it done. Whereas V, on the other hand, is kind of like the super ego trying to regulate between the id and the ego in a way. So it's it, really fascinating to see kind of how, the role that Johnny Silverhand plays. Oh no. What the fuck? Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Oh fuck her up! I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that.
camp. Uh, Interesting word let's get this someone who plowed through, massacred all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Okay. Come out! Oh, uh, what are you doing? No, no, I said no. Get, get out. No. No. Stop it. 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 Oh, wait. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. You're not Perfect. Helping. Now what? Perfect. Now, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his comp? That just might work. I like how they're keeping in true cyberpunk form the yellow background. What? Pretty specialized in joy toys? Sold her off to a river. What? Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a joy toy's wet dream. Huh. <laughs> Three street brawler, interesting. Open perks. I want to be able to get all of the perks. Uh, keep them up cool. There we go. Perfect. Wait, did I just bypass the guy? I think I just bypassed the guy. Finally! A real action! There we go. I'll fuck you up, cunt! No, go away. Alright. Da 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 da. No, leave it. Bye. Sayonara. Hasta la bye bye. I'm required to return your weapons. Yeah, thanks. While you're just over here sucking on a prune pit, not helping at all, I appreciate that woman. Bye. Oh, jeez. Nice work back there. All right, so Never we have a quest updated. All right, sounds like a plan. I'm, I'm really, honestly, like, for what it is, like I said, I'm enjoying this game. There's action. There's adventure. There's Keanu Reeves. You know, there's very interesting dialogue, and the dialogue is actually beautifully written. I love it so much. But um. There's so many different possibilities for what the storyline could be. Honestly, wait, what? Oh gosh. You had a plan. You tried. It fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Hellman. Thirty-four percent of Militech employees have also been promised. All right, so we have our next mission. Oh no. What the hell's that? Relic malfunction? No, no, what? Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. I think I'm learning what the plot line is. That I changed my mind. I want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Uh, gonna take <laughs> the terrorist out of me. Listen, honored, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Oh, okay, we're even going into a new character now. Let's get out of here. Okay, so this... Makoshi. 
What is it, exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Ooh. Soul Killer? Okay, yeah, following. Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer Whoa. operates. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. They're doing something really, 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 really cool here. They're they're basically saying that the soul and psyche and um, incorporeal essence of the person can be trapped within a database. That's so cool. Like we we really think about it. Okay, so I'm gathering now that the plot line is is that it's all about saving V. It's all about making sure that the brain is still the brain that's going to function that is it's, I'm stretching it here because I'm really just starting to understand the plot line now um, that it's basically just about saving V and your alter ego who is now Johnny Silverhand has to do that with you which they're doing it in a very interesting way the concepts are absolutely incredible the fact that you can encapsulate a psyche okay hold on so we're continuing on for a little how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is. Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi. Okay. Go to Jig Jig Street. Okay. Wow. Uh, this is really cool. This is really, really cool. I'm really liking this. We're going to end off this episode for today. Um, yeah, like I said, dozens of times. Not sure where the story's going. Not sure I'm really seeing a clear indicative story. It's starting. Blossoms of it are starting. But I should have already been able to tell what the story is by Act 1. And we're already on the second part of the chapter of Act 2. Because I looked up actually how many chapters are there. There are three main acts in this game, but a lot of them house many different types of chapters. So yeah, it's, it's really interesting to see where this game is going. I'm really, really enjoying it. Besides the things that I mentioned in the game that I told you about, which are just my speculations, my thoughts, my own opinions. Emphasis on the opinions. <laughs> yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. If you all like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I can't stream until I get a new webcam. I tried hooking up this camera as a webcam, but it's it, it's very tricky and there's just a lot of tech stuff about it that I'm still trying to wrap my brain around for right now. So stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, you guys.